Tape seams are a practical way to join lining materials in applications such as bioswales, canals, and ditches. Tape seams provide excellent joints and are especially adapted for repairs in many lining materials. Please follow along in this video for step-by-step -step instructions on how to perform a proper tape seam. Before deciding on tape seams, please note that tape seams cannot provide the same level of performance as those obtained by factory or welded seams. Therefore, the performance requirements of the tape liner should be evaluated prior to the placement of the tapes. Before placing the liner on the ground, please ensure that the subgrade is uniform, compacted, and free of voids. A cushion textile should be considered as an underlay to ensure protection of the liner subgrade imperfections. Prior to placing the tape down on the seams, ensure the surface of the geomembrane is free of dirt and moisture. The tape will not adhere or give the level of performance required if the surfaces are not properly prepared. The ambient conditions should be at least 60 degrees Fahrenheit or 15 degrees Celsius to ensure a good bond. In order to obtain a bond at lower temperatures, external heat may be required. The use of an industrial style hot air blower, like a hot air gun, is one recommended method. Apply the double-sided tape to the lower panel, approximately two to three inches away from the edge. The tape should be applied as straight and uniform as possible. Be sure the tape is allowed to follow the contours of the panel, preventing the tape from being stretched tight. If wide creases exist in the material, ensure that they are smoothed out prior to the placement of the tape. Apply firm pressure to the tape, ensuring that it is properly sealed to the material. Release paper should be removed from the alternate side of the tape, exposing the sticky surface. Carefully place the top panel on the exposed tape surface. Firmly apply pressure with a pressure roller, securing the top panel to the bottom panel. After completion, the seams should be inspected to ensure that sufficient adhesion has been obtained in all areas. If the tape has not adhered, the tape should be resealed and or replaced if the tape has become contaminated from dirt or other foreign substances. The liner should then be positioned as necessary to ensure that during operation the liner and liner seam will not be under tension. A 4-inch cap strip tape can be applied to improve the overall seam efficiency. Apply the adhesive side of the tape over the overlap and apply firm pressure with the roller to ensure bonding of the tape to the top and bottom panel. 